How's it going, everyone? I'm gonna get to the point pretty quickly. So first of all, I gotta make sure controller's plugged in. Go to options. Head to gamepad. What? It just could... Okay, stop kicking me out. Uh, okay, one sec. What? Okay, it's not... I'm gonna reset the game. I guess it's a pretty good time to mention the new launcher. This was already a thing for a while for IW6S, S1X. But this is this is completely new for IW4X. You can now access it through here. Just in case you didn't know, it's like a new feature. So plug your controller in. You can plug your controller in whenever. whenever. That doesn't matter when you plug it in. It has to be plugged in. Go to gamepad. Okay, that works. Uh, gamepad enabled would be off. At least for me, it was off. You turn it on. And then that's it. You can like, configure this completely normally. I don't think I really need to explain any of this. There are sensitivity presets, but you can also fine tune it. Sensitivity presets are basically the exact same way you adjusted your sens sensitivity back on the 360 or the PS3, but there's also extra fine tuning, which I kind of did. I like lowered the high, like just, just a tiny bit, like 0.1. And it's actually pretty good. It's brilliant. It's kind of unfortunate that it took this long, but I mean, I feel I feel like they really went hard on refining it and I, I definitely feel like it paid off. I mean, okay, what do I join? I'll join free for all, screw it. Yeah, this is finally making IW4X like a thing I'm gonna actively play now. Oh, I thought I should mention this. Uh, I'm using the M40 because I don't know what the perk is. It's not quick draw, I think that's MW3. But it's whatever the ADS speed thing is. There, I don't think there was an ADS AD speed perk in Mono, in COD 4. But look at this thing. Now that you have the ADS speed th perk, it's like, it's coked out. Look at the shit. Watch, where's the, ne where's the next guy? I'm not that good at sniping. I might actually just look like an idiot doing this. What? Okay, nah, the, the point I'm trying to make, this thing is insanely fast. Like, it's ridiculous. So much faster than Intervention. Intervention is still there if you want it to be more satisfying or whatever, but I don't know, I'm just, I'm just kind of preferring the M40 low-key. This thing is so quick, it's insane. If you're just getting to quickscoping, this may be the way to go. First time I'm not good at quickscoping, I'm the hard scope god. That's what I'm known for. But I'm gonna try quickscoping just for this video. Just for the integrity of the sniping culture. Dude. Okay, how off the mark was I? I think it was just because I like ADS too quick after like jumping or some shit. No, and that guy was like drop saying all that shit. He's try harding a 2009 video game. That is absurd to me. Hey, I'm not using this intervention. Yeah, that thing feels. I mean, it feels good, but I don't think I need to explain how the intervention feels. Everyone's used this at some point, or at least seen it. God, that felt good. Holy shit, greatest gun of all time. No, nah, not really. I prefer the MP45, but that's just, that's just me. I know they already mentioned they bring the intervention and ACR, which I mean, thank goodness, but at this point, also add the M40. And you know what? Screw it. Add the MP45 too, please. The MP45 is probably my favorite gun in all of Call of Duty, at least the Modern for 2 version and the Modern for 3 version, now I think about it. They're both pretty fucking good. Although they're also, like, relatively similar, except for, I guess, the damage, really. Sensitivity 2.3. Okay, I don't think I could really get myself to play at that high of a sense these days. I remember the last time I played, like, insanely high sense. I was trying to get new things on, like, how to get better at Call of Duty, and one of the main tips I got was play on the highest sense you can, and in order to get good at, like, high senses, just every day play on a higher sense, and just play with that all day until you're, like, finally, like, proficient at it. And then the next day just rinse and repeat until you're finally at the maximum sensitivity. So then I was doing that and it just happened to be that uh, I also really wanted to play Halo. So that didn't really contrast well. A very high sense action packed game and then immediately transitioning to like well, basically the slowest FPS of all time. It was dreadful. And then transitioning back. Oh man, I don't, I do not want to talk about it. That was horrendous. Easily one of my worst gaming experiences. I straight up did not want to play Call of Duty anymore. But I always, I don't give a shit. I just play on a relatively low sense compared to most people. Can't bother to get used to high sense. It just ruins too many gaming experiences. Oh my God. Really? That wasn't a wall bang or anything? Unreal. Okay, never mind. I think I missed. The Derby Lab isn't lagging right now. I have to record with display capture because it doesn't detect it in window capture. And game capture just automatically crashes the game. I think that's like an anti-cheat thing. Which really sucks. I wish I could just like strip record the game with OBS, but it's just not possible. Where are people? Why am I so bad at high rise? Oh. You have P45 with the red dot. I mean, I respect you trying something not normal, but Jesus. Really? Red dot? That somehow hit. I was like one pixel off. Mm. To be honest, I don't know any of the spots on high rise. Like I know you can like climb up shit everywhere, but I I, I just can't be bothered. Not only really I can't be bothered, most so I just more so I just 
don't know. There's probably like a billion videos about it though, where you can climb up on high rise. Oh yeah, here's a weird gun. Okay, I'm not sniping anymore. Uh, this this thing, the Peacekeeper from Black Ops 2, the DLC gun, and they added it to item 4 x This is the weirdest choice that could have probably made for a gun. Okay, now there are weirder choices. Like imagine they added the fucking, I, I don't know, dude. I can't come up with any weird guns off the top of my head right now. It's also not that good either. Like, it, it, I mean, it, it, it does the job, right? But, like, it's pretty good. That's just not great. I'd rather use the UMP or the M4 or, I guess, the ACR. Ooh, Golden Desert Eagle. All right, let me get, let me get a kill with this thing. Damn, I did not expect like actually get a kill with that thing. Yes, dude, this is maybe my favorite gun in all of Call of Duty. It's just so fun to use, man. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's, it feels good. It sounds good. It's very quick. It's very OP. I prefer it over the ACR. Let me just admit that right off the bat. I know I probably just lost all credibility, but this is better than the ACR. I said it. Like, holy shit, this thing, this thing is insane. An SMG, too. If they add this to the new Modern Warfare 2, they better make it good. It must live up to the original. I'll snipe, I'm sorry. There. My bad. I just had to get that on my system. What? No, 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 what? What? Excuse me? That was insane. Dude, that never happened. Pretend, pretend it never happened. Hard scope, God. That's why they call me that. Brutal. I don't know what happened there. Ignore that. This guy thinks has higher FPS than you. My guy, how are you flexing FPS on Modern Warfare 2? This game runs on anything. It's, you basically cannot differentiate the smoothness. Oh my god, my martyrdom actually killed someone. I feel so bad. I have a set as a death streak, because I don't fucking know, man. I thought it'd give me the more, most kills. I'm lucky liking free for all. I guess free for all was actually good in this game. No, no, I'm in denial. I forgot to mention this, but if you're on a PS4 controller, or any PlayStation controller for that matter, you're gonna need a lot more setup. For PS3 controllers specifically, in fact, they have this like specific like piece of software or whatever. It's like a third party PS DualShock 3 driver. I forgot what it's called, I might have to just look for it. But basically in there, you just set it to X input and then pretend it's, pretend it's like a basic PC slash Xbox controller. And then it just works just fine, like out of the box. You might have to rebind some things, but for the most part, it's perfectly fine. But that's just for PS3 though, I don't know how for PS4, you need to do like DS4 Windows or whatever the hell it's called. Dude. No, that should have hit. Ugh. My centering. I really need to work on my centering. I need like centering practice. There's like. I know Aim Lab has like controller support now with like Aim Assist and whatever. Does that have centering courses because i need that i need that i'm gonna hard scope you don't give a fuck i i give i give i don't not care about you where are you i'm gonna hard scope you never mind the left yeah it's really cool that they had a controller support though i've been waiting for this for, since like forever i remember them teasing in the in the iw4x discord i was like holy crap it's gonna come out in like a month i can't wait and it's been almost a year we finally got it so i, I, don't, I don't care i'm just happy it's finally here man it feels great they really nailed the the they, they made it basically perfect I if i can fine tune it it's just it, it feels great all right that's all i really have to say